I'm trying to do some cocktails which change color when I put this chemical ice inside. That's that's amazing. Can you just tell me in a couple of words what how does it work? Yeah. Uh, so in fact, this ice is not the typical ice that you can find in your fridge or in your freezer. In fact, this ice is made of CO2. You know, this CO2 is the gas that you expire. I mean, carbon dioxide, right? Yeah, carbon dioxide, right? I forgot that. And how we make this ice? Basically, we cool down to minus 80 degrees. So around. And when you cool down this carbon dioxide, so we got this ice. Okay, that looks nice. Minus 80 degrees, that's literally cool, right? Yeah, it's nice. Amazing. And in fact, what happened with this cocktail? So we start, we have some acidity indicator in this cocktail, and we put this dry ice, so it will acidify the solution, and that's why it changed color. That's beautiful. Uh, but now I'm curious, do you have maybe other experiments that I could see? Of course, yeah. Uh, for example, what's your favorite color? Well, my favorite. Blue, of course. Blue. I should have something for you. Yeah, here. Oh, it's a bit blue, but not completely blue. Ah, does it does it look very, very blue to you? No. No? No, not very. Wait a moment. Okay. It looks very chemical. I just uttered a bit of this powder. Nice. And some water inside. I really love turquoise on the top of that. Of course, we have to mix each cocktail. Then they're better. But you know what? I like my cocktails with a bit of milk, you know, a bit more like milkshake. Uh, some milk. I don't have milk here, but wait, I think I have an idea. If I put a little bit of that that's inside, not, that's not even white. No, that's transparent. But wait. Wow. I put the solution and I mix a little bit. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. What, what happened? I mean, the, the, the stuff you put in the first thing, we uh, did some kind of chemistry with uh, the other stuff? or? Yeah, in fact, uh, the first time when I had the powder in the water, so we create like a complexation. So the water react with the copper, which was in the, in the white powder. Now I had a base. You know what's the base? I have no clue. Um, maybe do you cook? Yes, I do. You cook. I'm so French. when you. Yeah, you're French, of course. So maybe you cook. So you have. Something which is sweet. What's the opposite of sweet? I would say oh. salty. Salty. Yeah, inside like that. So you have the sweet and the salty when you cook. In chemistry, you have the acid. So, for example, it's the vinegar or the lemon. So it's kind of acid. And the other side, the opposite is basic. Okay. In this case, I just had something basic, and it reacts with the copper. And this basic thing really likes the copper. So that's why that we create a precipitation. That means two material will react together to create a solid which will be white and which will precipitate that means we'll, it will go down to the bottom of the glass and that makes the milky stuff of course i understand right. everything yeah but i think i have something else which will be also very nice okay that, what, what's oh. what's this stuff it's I'm just my color uh, i don't really want to have that the stuff is called ammoniac 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 yeah. Oh, that's the stuff from the rotten fish. Yeah. Wow. If I put a little bit of ammoniac, you see the color change? That's beautiful. And the smilky stuff disappears. Amazing. Yeah. I don't know chemistry could be yeah. this amazing. Yeah. In fact, what happened in this case? So the ammoniac stuff, or the ammoniac compound, likes even much the copper. So it will really 
lock the copper, it will squeeze the copper and so it will create some bonds. And that's why it will react to the copper and we will have some blue solution. Nice. And, it, and there is no powder anymore. So basically it stole all the copper yeah. that was in the powder to turn it blue. Exactly. Okay. okay. That's, that's gorgeous. Um, I, I think it, it reminds me of a very nice chemistry reaction. Do you know the clock reaction? Yeah, of course, yeah, I know. You know it. You want to try? Yes. Uh, so the problem is that uh, we need some... Did you came with friend or...? Because yeah, we need yeah, some person. I, I, came, I came with some friends. Yeah. I'm going to grab some friends. <laughs> You're my friends, so why don't you come on the stage with me? All the three of you. And all the two of you. <laughs> Come So, but wait a minute. Okay, what do we have to do? Yeah, I will explain you everything. You ready? So, what you have to do, it's, uh, it's in your side. So, I will make a countdown. You know, from three to zero. At zero, you have to pour the plastic glass totally in one shot and the glass like that. So you, you understand English, right? I didn't ask. I mean, you're my friend. Yes. Right? So you understand English. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to pour at zero. Not at one, not after zero, but really at zero. In one shot, you pour everything. And so you will have each person, each brave volunteer will have two glasses. And at yep. the same time, you have to pour the glasses. Okay. So these plastic glasses in the one glass. Come next to me. And next to, next to each other, you take two glasses, if I understood everything. Okay, just, just be ready. So it's not dangerous, right? It's not dangerous. Perfect. You don't need gloves, you don't need uh, Googles. Okay, so you take the two glasses and we will make the countdown. So yeah. three, two, one, zero, but you don't do it now, okay? No, not at one, not after zero, at zero, okay? Okay. Let's go. So three, two, one, four! Explain what happened, no? Maybe they have an idea what happened yeah. here, right? You have an idea. You have no idea? Well, I think we'll explain everything on the screen. So I will walk you back to your, to your seats. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks again. Can I put them again? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, okay, do you expect me to understand that? Uh, it's, it's, it looks a little bit complicated. Uh, so. Are there some chemists in the audience or no? Not really. No. Uh, Maybe you can simplify that now. Huh? Maybe you can simplify the, the explanation. Uh, it, please. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Better. But I think you told me you knew direction. So maybe you have an idea. What happened? Uh, maybe. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, I think I remember. 
Yeah, so we mixed two stuff, product A and product B, and when we put them together, something happened. They made a third compound, but yeah, something happens with this one. Immediately, right away, the blue reacts with the green that was on the top right to give the red. And we have in there something that detects this red stuff, right? Yeah. You're right. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, but that was the fast one. Yeah. Now the slower one. The slower one. So for the slower one, we put... Okay, we put much more in. In fact, it looked like everything was the same, but there was much more of the product A. And once in presence of the product B, and we mixed it, product B took its time, consumed all the product A, consumed all the yellow stuff. This took time, a lot of time, you noticed. And it's only when all the product A reacted that finally it could give way to our last product after a very long time. Because red has red. Are you sure that chemist? Huh? Are you sure that chemist? Because you know everything. What happened? Why? I, I think I just I got an illumination from uh, from your explanation. So uh, I think the only thing I have to to tell you is. Uh, Vielen Dank für dieses äh, schöne Experiment. Und dann und Prost. Prost. Thank you.